Hey Pisces, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. I'm gonna do August 2021 general love reading monthly for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, any planets if you have in Pisces, you can write this reading. What's happening overall in your life in this month, love, career, or growth, or whatever, I'm going to pick up. I'm going to deliver it here. So keep an open mind. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. You can also book a personal reading with me if you're interested. Everything is given in the description box. So you can reach out to me two authentic ways that is given in the description box. My email address and Instagram link. So I'm using this Lenormand deck. Let's see what's happening for you in this month. Overall, what is the theme for you? Okay. Okay, let me see. Let's see. Just take what resonates with you. Um, energy could be vice versa. So we have the book, 26. So you could be 26 years old or dealing with someone who have this age. So there's a definitely a study here. You could be writing something. You could be trying to, uh, you know, publish something in this month. This is also something with the spirituality here. Connected with uh, this, book, this book or this uh, learning or this course or these lessons that you're learning or you're writing something that is related with the connectivity about um, something with the spirit, something with the divine and also something with the your emotions and feelings. So you could be a writer, a publisher. So you're going to publish something this month. You're going to post something. You may be also going to create some type of a novel or you're going to write some type of, a, I don't know, I'm getting like blogging or something. There's definitely some sense of publishing here. For some of you, you're going to maybe start something this month, like going to get into some type of a um, new course or new learning. Maybe you are going to enter into something different. Starting something new and fresh in your life. New course I'm hearing. We also have the heart here. So this could be um, talking about yeah, emotions and feelings. So we also have a 24. I'm also getting like a role play or some type of a play and theater. So you could be writing some type of a drama or play. Uh, or some type of a um, script here that you're going to publish or this could be a romantic novel or some type of a spiritual thing that you're going to publish that's related with the emotions and feelings this month so you guys are very creative no doubt here we also have a mountain here okay so you could be dealing with someone who has an age 24 26 or 21 or this could be your age um, you could have a life path number three four two six uh, eight we also have a triple two. You could be seeing a lot of twos, ones, I'm hearing. Um, this is another sign here that you are on the right path. We also have the mountain here. So this, I'm seeing this is a climbing the success here. You're definitely moving towards something um, that is very challenging for you. Okay, but you are not going to give up on this, on this, this job or this activity or creativity, whatever you're going to create. And if this is something about romantic here, I'm strongly feeling you're not going to give up on this love. This is very challenging uh, relationship here that you're in. This could be very spiritual too because I'm send, somehow I'm seeing the moon here. It's very intuitive and romantic um, connection coming in your life or you're dealing with that is definitely very challenging. But you're definitely all the way here. For some of you, you could be going on to some type of a mountains or a hill station for camping. Uh, this could be uh, hiking, I'm hearing. Yeah. Uh, like you could be tr trying to go into some areas that um, you want to work on something. That's really good here. I'm, I'm, f I'm feeling there's a sense of um, accomplishment here. Uh, but you are on the right path here. So it's something that you're going to, you have a lot of um, like a broad vision that where you want to go. But I'm also seeing someone could be going to send you a message, talk to you. If this is romantic, um, but this is a very challenging connection here you have with someone. Now let's see who is coming and what's happening in your life. Yeah, you're dealing with some type of a situation that is very challenging, but this, these, these obstacles are here to make you make maybe more successful. You're climbing to success here. Um, you could be go going to some type of um, spiritual um, retreat with someone, some people who are uh, more um, friendly with you, your friends, your family, your lovers. You could be taking some type of a trips here, definitely. Or it could be some spiritual retreats or lessons or some type of a um, learning course that you're going to learn. Um, but you are not willing to give up on this. Like you're, you are like, right, yeah, I know that. Where is my destination? So let's see. We have the hangman. And if you're dealing with someone, there's obstacles here in this romance here. 
maybe this person is right now studying or you are studying or this person could be far from you because I'm seeing with the mountain there's a definitely obstacles here in this love and that is um, challenging you know this is like maybe this person have a different culture background you both could be come from a different places um, we have the six of Pentacles and we have the ten of Pentacles Wow <laughs> Whoa. We have a seven of swords energy here. So let's see who is coming towards you, Pisces. I'm already feeling this could be someone that you had a family with. Or you are going to have a family with. You're going to create a family with this person because I'm seeing, look at this nine of cups. This is like wish fulfillment and she's, she's um, you literally could be um, pregnant right now watching this video. Yeah, or if you're single here with the nine of cups energy, then definitely you're going to be in a romantic relationship very soon, like committed relationship very soon, but it is going to be challenging for some reason. Now let's see, yeah, bottom of the deck is the king of wands, here you go. So you have a king of wands coming towards you, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, does not matter um, whatever their um, gender is or whatever their zodiac sign is, but this person portrays this energy, they could be very um, attractive, charming, uh, for some of you, this person could be in military or police. Yeah, they could be definitely in some type of a forceful. Um, they could be in sports or something. This person could be successful. They could be a hiker or seeker or travel guide. I don't know because I'm seeing this is someone who is definitely do something physically. Like they they do some type of a physical work. Like that their their job is demanding for physical work, physical need here. Uh, they could be a dancer too like they they have to put the effort here because i'm seeing with the page of cups they could be creative they could be an artist of some sort but they are very um yeah they are crea uh, they are artist and uh, this could be someone could be a medic in a medical field like doctor or something like this person need physical like um time like a lot of time in their life wow boom we have a king and queen of wands coming up together. Okay, I want to take this. This is a couple here. Bottom of the deck is the knight of wands here. So there's a lot of wands energy here. This person is willing to work. Look at this. I was talking about physical work. So this person definitely, their job is demanding to do a lot of physical work. They could be have this, they could be in a gym or yoga. They could be, um, yeah, definitely could be a gym person, like gym, gym coach or something. They train people. Physically, look at this. This person definitely have something physical activity here. So they could be in a military and police too, by the way, army. So they're because um, they also need uh, a lot of physical work here. Demanding job here, okay? So we have the king and queen of wands together here. So this is a couple. Does not matter uh, who you are. And um, obviously, you are a water sign. Uh, I feel like you both are artists in the way. Um, but this person could be a Leo. Or they have a strong Leo in their chart, I'm getting. Mm, you could be intuitive, you could be artist, spiritual, uh, tarot reader, light worker, and this person is totally opposite from you. Like they could be in a different field. So you both are very creative in your own field, very artistic in your field. This is also like, um, could be same field, like you guys work together with the six of pentacles here. You see each other every day, you meet each other every day. This is also a possibility. Okay. I'm also seeing some of you, this is a very, very um, romantic connection that is entering in your life with the heart. So this is like a couple, you're meeting someone who is your match. And whoever this person is, look at this, this, this person is bringing flowers and this is a white. Unfortunately, uh, this is a white or yellow, I, I feel. So this is a very positivity. I'm also seeing the mountains here. So something with the mountains here, or maybe this person live in some type of an area, there's a mountains right now. Or this person could be clearing these mountains for you, like obstacles for you. They're coming out it. So I'm getting you could be dealing with the fire sign and we have a lot of um, earth here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm also getting Pisces, especially, and Virgo. I'm getting a Capricorn. And we also have a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here, because we're Nine of Cups and Page of Cups. Your wish is about to come true, Pisces. Look, we have a Nine of Cups and Page of Cups. This person is going to send you a message. If this person was a runner with the Seven of Swords, they were running away from this relationship. They were running away from you. They were, for some of you, I'm hearing this person was wearing a mask. They were not telling you the truth, but now no more games. This person is about to reach out to you and tell you that how do they feel. You're going to receive a message from this person. They're willing to work with you on these obstacles. They're willing to work on this connection. So they, they definitely see you as their perfect match. You can be twin flames or soulmate because we have the king and queen of wands together, the same suits. 
So this is a twin flame or soulmate vibe here. Like someone who is your match, your perfect match. Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment. This person could be for some of you is going to propose you with a Ten of Pentacles here. They want to create a family with you. I'm also seeing dog hair and cats here. So you could have a pet and do a dog's lover or this person could be. You both are you, animal lovers or you both are going to create. Maybe this is just creating a family with the children or just um, creating a family with the animals. Like you're going to have a lot of animals in your house. You know? So there's a definitely uh, energy here that this person sees you as the one. They see the so long-term potential with you. But I'm strongly feeling this could be a proposal too. With the page of cups, like this person is ready to offer you this proposal and commitment. Like they're willing to, because you are this person wish fulfillment. Look at this fire. This is like a fire of flies. So this is definitely going to be, um, wow, this is an announcement here. I'm hearing announcement. Like this person is going to announce like they want to be with you. With the nine of cups and page of cups, I'm hearing this is an announcement here. I don't know what does it mean, but this person is going to announce like they're with you, officially with you. They're, they're not going to play any mind games here. Or maybe they're going to officially tell their family or their parents like they want to be with you. Ten of pentacles, you're going to meet this person's family. And if you're already dating, wow, congratulations. Your relationship is moving forward to a next level. Six of Pentacles, this is going to be an equal give and take. Uh, for some of you, you're going to meet this person through work or uh, your education because I'm seeing learning process here or whatever the work you, that you're going to create. For some of you, I'm hearing you're going to meet this person on social media, uh, dating apps. We have the hangman here. I feel like you have to be patient here. Pisces, this is you. The, the wait is over. I feel like the delay is over. Your, li your relationship is about to move forward and also success coming in your way. You, your your um your work is going to be well known. You're going to also be well known in your community. Okay, I'm seeing a strong um success here in your work too. There's a, some sense of reward here and publish uh, and promotion here too. A lot of money coming in your way. We have ascending. Yeah, look at this Pisces. You're ascending to a next level. Your love life and your career life is all about ascending to a higher level. For some of you, you could be buying a house here this month. The phoenix, yeah. So this is talking about new phase, rekindle, change coming into your life, growth here. So this could be Scorpio that is entering in your life, wanting to be with you. For some of you, you could have a single baby. You could be a parent, a baby girl maybe. Or this person will call you baby girl like something. So there could be an age gap between you and this person for some of you. We have a boat. Yeah, whatever you want is coming. There could be a distance here, like you could be taking trips or uh, related with your um, job or education or study, but this could be someone coming from the different, pl I told you, different place. Like they could be living in some mountain area or some type of a beaches area because I'm seeing a boat here. We also have a coffin. Okay, so this could be someone coming from the past, like someone that you're going to rekindle with. And this could be a Scorpio. Strongly Scorpio, I'm also getting fire sign with this Phoenix here too, like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Leo, prominent here. So this could be someone that you close the chapter with, but it's not over because they're willing to work with you. And you want it always, this growth and change, and they're ready to give you whatever you want, whatever you want. Your wishes come true. It's a Jenny. It's look like a Jenny. Tell me what you want. It's a wish. And you tell this, uh, you tell a Jenny, like your wish, and finally this, this person is here. So I feel like whatever you have been wishing for Pisces, it's here. The perfect match for you, the perfect partner for you, uh, or this could be someone that you close the chapter with coming back to you, rekindle reunion, but it's, it's, it's definitely on a next level here. It's something beautiful. It's something that you never experienced. This is twin flame or soulmate here because I'm seeing king and queen of wands. So you are a perfect match for each other. So this is your destined partner here coming to you or you are closing chapter with the past people. So this could be a brand new person. Just take what resonates with you, but I'm seeing love is coming towards you, Pisces. Love is coming. Love is here. Romance is here with the heart too. Like someone is ready to give you their heart. They're ready to be with you. Pisces. So this is your reading. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. God bless you all.